And now the 73rd Florida Derby. They're in the gate. And they're off in the Florida Derby. Fierceness was away perfectly from his outside draw. Will use some speed to try to get over. Meanwhile, it's Grand Mo the first who's at the rail and in front with Ladombro right alongside. Fierceness, he's on the accelerator early as Johnny V. He's up and around horses and he wants to lead. So Fierceness will land the front in the run to the opening quarter. In between horses, Ladombro out three wide is Catalytic and Grand Mo the first is at the rail. They're followed by Real Macho, who races outside of Hades. Hades is about three and a half lengths off the speed, ahead of Iris's Dream. Covered up between horses is Conquest Warrior, and the early trailer is Frankie's Empire. The opening quarter just 24 seconds flat. Fierceness on his eight game so far. He's a length in front over Catalytic, a wide second. In between horses, Ladon Bro Grandmo, the first is at the rail. Real Macho works out in the center, racing in front of Hades. Then Iris's Dream and Conquest Warrior still at the back, but in the clear is Frankie's Empire. And with the half in 47 and 2, they have the favorite to catch. It's Fierceness to the far turn on top by a length and a half. Working harder is Catalytic at the rail. Grand Mo the first. Ladon Bro has to quicken, but he's not. At the rail, it's Conquest Warrior trying to launch his bid. Frankie's Empire is wide on the course, but Johnny V still sitting pretty on Fierceness who tries to sneak away. Three quarters, 111 and 1. They run to the 5 16ths, and Fierceness, he is getting away. He's now four in front. Catalytic is second, Grand Mo the first is third. On the outside, Frankie's Empire, Conquest Warrior at the rail, but they all have too much to do. Fierceness is putting on a show in Hallandale today. Fierceness, the real Fierceness, has showed up to South Florida, and he's crushing them in the Florida Derby. Fierceness geared down and on his way to Louisville. Fierceness authoritatively in the Florida Derby. He never had a threat. Catalytic was second. And they're off in the 33rd running of the Holy Bull. Fierceness was away mid-flight, and Johnny V's riding him for some forward position as the inside trio race on with it. Inveigled in Hades, 1-2. Otello is next. Into the clear goes Fierceness, but he has to go four wide. On the far outside, it's Sea Streak. Well settled at the rail is Domestic Product. The early trailer is the long shot Dancing Groom. Around the clubhouse turn they go. The leader is Hades in front three parts of a length. Inveigled in the middle and out three wide goes Fierceness. On a hold behind the speed is Domestic Product fourth at the inside. Then C Streak and Otello. Out the back the trailer is Dancing Groom. The opening quarter complete. Hades has the lead. Inveigled right alongside in second. Three wide. Fierceness bides his time. He's now third. C Streak is on the far outside. He's racing in fourth. So no breather for Fierceness as he has a horse on his outside. Back from the inside, that's domestic product to race together with Otello, and the trailer is Dancing Groom. They make their way to the first finish line in the 2024 Holy Bull, and Hades has the lead. On the outside, Fierceness starts to shift gears, and there he goes, Fierceness for a neck advantage. Hades tries to counterpunch with the benefit of the inside, four wide C streak, and Vagled hanging tough from between horses. Another two lengths back to domestic product, and dropping back to last is Dancing Groom, just ahead of him, Otello. Fierceness not out of second gear yet. They went three quarters, and Fierceness goes to the first finish line, trying to put Hades away. Gaffleon getting a response from domestic product, and it's time to go to work for the two-year-old champ. Fierceness is off the turn, but he's not home yet, as Hades is dead game and battling back. Off cover, domestic product is charging hard. 16th to go, Fierceness coming up empty now. Hades has the lead. Domestic product is out of time. DJ Stables, Hades wins the Holy Bull under Paco Lopez. From and they're off. For the inside, Hades, one of the first to break the line in the center. Big Effect has speed. Here's Lace Up moving on to take over. Lace Up to the top. Big Effect alongside. Hades is much closer today, racing toward the leader at the rail. Out in the center, it's Holiday Pay, then North Shore Drive. Second last is Pure Class, and Lasso held up between the entire field, separated by two and a half in the run to the opening quarter. Hades down inside, lace up in the middle, out three wide goes Big Effect. Far outside, it's Holiday Pay. Then back to North Shore Drive, Pure Class runs in between horses, and Lasso is last. 23 seconds for the opening quarter, around the far turn they go. Three wide, Big Effect for a neck advantage. Hades and lace up second and third, Holiday Pay fourth and gaining. Inside fifth, North Shore Drive, back to sixth goes Pure Class, and Lasso is last. 
They pass the 5 16 nursing a neck lead. Jaramillo on big effect. Hades back for a little bit more inside. Up on the outside, it's Holiday Pay. He's now third. Two back to the rail in North Shore Drive. Then comes Pure Class with a quarter of a mile left to go. They went to half in 46 seconds flat. They're at the top of the stretch. Hades coming back on big effect. At the rail, North Shore Drive. Over the top, Holiday Pay. Eighth of a mile out. Hades has got a kick. Hades has put him away. Hades and Jockey Paca Lopez kicking clear with authority. It's Hades to go two for two in his young career and win by five and a half. North Arranca los competidores de la tercera en Goffrey Park. La partida es bastante pareja. Tiene tropiezos el 4 ahora y se queda último. Salta rápidamente Far From a Star a tomar la punta. Ataca por el centro a Rogan. Si se acomoda en el segundo, en el tercero, Mr. Cooper. En el cuarto intenta movilizarse el caballo Spin de Boulevard. Junto a este lo viene haciendo Mighty Mikon, dejando en el tordillo el número 7, el caballo Street Earning, en los últimos lugares. Mientras que Hades, el 4, está en la última colocación. Domina el 3, Far From a Star. Ataca a Rogan. Si por el centro Intenta desplazarlo en 22-13 el primer cuarto de milla. En el tercero, Mr. Cooper. En el cuarto, intenta acercarse Spin de Boulevard. En el quinto, está por la baranda Mighty Meekham. Trata de recuperarse Hades junto al número 7, el caballo Street Earning. Cuando van a ingresar ya a la recta final de Goffrey Park. Es la tercera de la tarde. Por dentro, Far From Star por el centro. Arrogan si está tomando el mando de la prueba. Arrogan si está en punta. Sigue la presión del 3 por la parte interna que no se rinde. Y viene volando Hades por el centro de la cancha. Hades contra los punteros. Se defiende el 6 y por dentro el 13, Hades inmenso por fuera con Paco con el líder de la estadística. Ganó Hades número 4. Segundo. They're ready for the start. And they're off in the Breeders' Cup Classic. And Coronado's quest is the first away from the gate. Arch was off to a good beginning. Skipaway is in behind Arch in the early stages. Silver Charm is ahead of Skipaway. He's third. On the outside, gentlemen, races fourth. As they pass beneath the twin spires for the first time, it is Coronado's quest to be the pacemaker. Arch is second. And the two grays on the inside. Skipaway on the outside. Derby winner, Silver Charm. In behind them at the inside, European Swain. Running stag is just next to Silver Charm. Two lengths back on the outside. It's gentlemen, then a break of three to Stablemates. Awesome again. And touch goal. Seven lengths. Back to Belmont winner, Victory Gallup. He is about a dozen lengths from the lead. The opening quarter goes in 23 and two fifth seconds. The opening half mile was 47 and three. It's an honest pace here in the classic with Coronado's quest leading the way. Popped it by Arch. Skip away is tucked away on the inside. There appears to be a narrow opening for him, and there he goes. Gary Bailey asking a little bit more from Skip away. Silver Charm in a good spot on the outside as they approach the far turn. And gentlemen, gentlemen starts his engine as they move for the far turn. He's only three lengths from the lead. Swain is in behind horses, then running stag. Awesome again on the inside, touch gold. And still well behind is Victory Gallup. It is still Coronado's quest leading this all-star field around the far turn. He's there by length and a half. Arches in between horses, skip away, is still down toward the inside. Here comes Silver Charm. Silver Charm coming with a bold rally on the far outside. Skip away toward the inside, and Swain is coming with his rally. And farther back, it is awesome again. Victory Gallop is gathering momentum. One for long to go. Coronado's quest. Silver Charm and Swain, the three of them. Not today for Skip away. Victory Gallop continues to close. Silver Charm short lead. Here comes awesome again, who's flying in between horses. A wild finish to the classic. Awesome again has won! Awesome again is the winner! Two.